Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant. And in this Tag Manager guide, you're going to learn how to install Google Analytics on your website using Google Tag Manager. We'll go through the UA code and we'll also go through GA4, your measurement ID for the new version of Google Analytics. Timestamps below along with some other helpful videos to installing other tags and of course getting Tag Manager up and running on your site. So here, let's go ahead and dive in. Timestamps below. If you want to skip over the old version of Analytics, you want to jump straight into Google Analytics for the measurement ID. Here's the timestamp for that. So inside of your Google Analytics account, when it comes to the old version, Universal, which I still recommend installing, even if you are just new to Google Analytics, we're going to look for something called your UA code. So inside of Google Analytics, all you need to do is come down to admin, click on that, and then you'll be able to select your account. And then we're going to go ahead and select your property, AKA the website that you want to be tracking. So if you haven't already set all this up, I'll link up in the cards and the description to a full blown Google Analytics video that goes through everything you need to know getting this set up correctly. So I'll just click on Fresh Edge Advertising as our example, and I will click on Property Settings because we're doing Universal Analytics. When we do the new one, we will click on Data Streams. So let's go ahead and click on Property Settings, and this is the property ID that we will need for inside Tag Manager. I do recommend having your own internal documentation to save all these codes so you don't have to log in every time you need them. And if you'd like to copy our template, how we stay organized and implement Google Tag Manager, I'll link up in the description to our Tag Manager playbook. It's the exact same template we use when we set up our own Tag Manager accounts as well as our clients. It really will help you stay organized. So now let's talk about the GA4 code or the measurement ID. So let's go ahead and jump back into Google Analytics here and I'll show you where to get that measurement ID. So again, we're in Google Analytics. Wherever you, From wherever you are, you can go and click on admin again. Make sure that you're in the proper account and you click on the property that you want. This time I'm going to click on Fresh, Fresh Fans Academy because that's a GA4. And then I'm going to click on Data Streams instead of Property Settings. So once I click on Data Streams, you'll see here we already have one set up. Again, link in the cards and the description to a full-blown Google Analytics video. And we'll go and click on that and we will copy our measurement ID. Again, save this to your own documentation or you can use our template in the description below. So either way, with those two codes, you are ready to jump into Tag Manager and install your Google Analytics tracking. So we'll just go to Tag Manager or you can search Tag Manager. You can go ahead and sign in or start for free. I'll click sign in, enter our contact information and or should contact, enter our Gmail information or G Suite for Business info and then you'll be taken to your homepage. So if you don't already have an account, all you need to do is click on create account and they'll ask you a few questions and you'll be good to go. I do recommend having one account for all your personal things. And then if you do anything for clients or have collaboration projects, go ahead and make a separate account for those. That way people don't have access to your personal websites. So here I already have one set up. So we'll just jump into it. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and click on create new tag. Now, if, if you haven't installed Google Tag Manager on your site yet, again, link in the cards in the description to a really long Tag Manager video that goes through all of that. So we'll go ahead and click on new tag here and we'll just give our tag a name. We'll say G4 base tag, right? Because this is just the measurement ID that we have to have on our site. And then we'll go and click on tag configuration and we want to select Google Analytics GA4 configuration. Now, if you have the UA code, all you need to do is click on Universal Analytics and plug in your UA code there. So it's virtually the same process and we're just going to go through Google Analytics 4 for this example. So I'll go and click on Google Analytics 4 and I will paste in my measurement ID. So if we hop on over to the Google Analytics interface, you'll see this is the page we're going to from our admin data streams, and then we're copying this measurement ID, or you're copying it from your own documentation, and then you're pasting it in, and you want to leave send the this extra information to Google Analytics. This will help when you do advanced tracking in the future. Now, if you're doing the UA code, you're going to go through this exact same process, and instead of measurement ID, it's going to ask for your UA code instead of your measurement ID exact same process. So let's go ahead and come down to triggers now. And we need to tell Google Analytics, when do we want this tag to fire? Now, unlike conversion tracking, we want this to fire all the time, everywhere. So we just get to click on all pages. If you've set up custom triggers, they will of course show up here. So once I've done that, we have everything we need to have Google 
analytics fire correctly on our site. So we can go ahead and click on save here and you'll see we have one workspace change a few seconds ago, GA4 base tag. So this is letting us know there's an edit and it hasn't gone live yet. So now it's time to make it live. We can go ahead and click on submit here and then just give a quick description of what was done. I tend to just paste in the same information. That way, you know, five or six years later when you come back and do it, we have tag managers that were done over eight years ago. Whoever comes in knows what the heck was uh, done with that install. This actually is way more important when you start doing advanced things and you can actually mess something up, but it's just good to get in the habit. So we'll go ahead and click on publish now, and then we'll get a summary of everything that is inside of our tag manager right now. And of course the changes that were made, just one change. So with that tag manager and your Google analytics code, well, I should say Google analytics is now inside of tag manager on your website. So let, now let's go ahead and verify that it actually installed correctly. So the best way to do this is to use a free Chrome plugin called Google Tag Assistant, not to be confused with Google Tag Assistant that's now the new preview mode, which we will get to in the next section. Okay, let's just go over and search Google Tag Assistant, and then we can go ahead and add it to Chrome. It works with any, any, <laughs> it works with any Chromium-based browser. And if that didn't make any sense, then just use Chrome. All right, and we'll go ahead and click on done here. And then when you want to use this tool, you're going to have to click enable every time you go to a site. So we'll have to go to the website, we'll have to click enable, refresh, and then we'll be able to see. So let's jump over to our homepage here, a Fresh Fans Academy demo site hosted with MailerLite. So this is just for example purposes, not an actual company. So what you would do is you would go to your homepage, click on the plugin icon, click enable, and then once you do, go ahead and refresh the page and then you'll be able to see all of the tags on your site. So we can see our Google Tag Manager code is here and we can also see that our Google Analytics code has fired. And so this means Google Analytics is working on our site and we are good to go. If you have any problems, you can go ahead and jump to the last section where we talk about how to troubleshoot. Now I want to quickly go through the new preview mode, which is also called Google Tag Assistant, just because Google wanted to make it really confusing, not to be confused with the Tag Assistant that we just used. Okay, here we go. So how to preview all of your changes. This is something that's going to be really helpful in the future. And so what this allows you to do is actually see exactly what tags fired and you can actually start tracking how your different tags are firing as you go through your website. The GA4 debug mode has something very similar, although we won't get into that right now. So let's go ahead, jump back into Tag Manager because it's different from the Chrome plugin. Now, if you've done anything with Tag Manager in the past, you probably have seen this orange bar before. This is what's replacing that. So let's go into preview mode now. So we can, of course, click on tags to always see all the tags that have been installed on the site. But to see how they're actually firing and make sure they're working correctly, we can click on preview. So we'll go over here and click on preview. And then we'll go ahead and paste in the URL. And we'll go ahead and leave this checked and click on start. And once we do, it will load and it will automatically open the page that we want to check. So I'm checking a landing page on our website. And the way you know that it's working is you'll see this debugger connected in the bottom right hand corner. So once we see that, we can jump back over to Google Tag Manager, click on continue here, click continue. And then you'll be able to see that our GA4 base tag fired and we have just added some other tags so you can see what it looks like. You can see that we have some other tags that fired on this page and then it shows the tags that didn't fire. And this is gonna be very important when you start coming up with your conversion tracking. So obviously someone just comes to your website, you don't wanna count them as a conversion until they've done what you want. And that's how you make sure that your tags are firing and working correctly. And you can also click on your GA4. The UA code doesn't seem to do this, but if you have a GA4 code, your measurement ID, you can click and actually start seeing your different events and how things are interacting with your data layer. Again, this is more like good to know information for the future as you become more advanced. And so to leave preview mode, all you need to do is go back to your site, just click the X button, and then you'll see that it's no longer connected. And a quick note before we move on to errors, make sure that you remove all your other versions of Google Analytics on your site. You only want those tags to show up once. So if you were using something else to have Google Analytics on your site and you just put together Tag Manager and you just implemented this, make sure you now that you verify that 
tag that uh, Google ads, Google, oh my gosh, Google Analytics is on your site. Make sure you do go back and remove any old installs. Now let's talk about errors because things don't always go according to plan. So when things aren't working, Tag Assistant, the Chrome plugin is going to be your best friend. So green and blue means it's good to go. Blue just means it's not a standard install, but you really don't have to worry about that. Yellow most likely means a plugin or your own browser is messing with the is messing with the tags firing and then red means something is horribly wrong and you need to fix well no not horrible this is just tracking right but something is wrong enough that something's not working and you need to fix it asap in order to get the data that you want and so you can actually click on the bottom here and you'll see some error codes and the best way to figure this out is to just type them into google and go through some google forms i know it's really annoying but after five or ten minutes you're going to find someone else who's had the exact same problem and hopefully have some steps in order to start to troubleshoot and solve it we do do our best to answer comments in the comment section below, but every website is different and without being able to see everything that's going on, it is pretty hard to give specific feedback. So this is going to be your best friend go-to source when you're trying to figure out where things have gone wrong with your tag install. So as long as it's green or blue, it means you're good to go. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you are a lot more confident with Tag Manager and Google Analytics. Go ahead and hit that like button. Check out the link in the cards in the description to the full-blown Tag Manager video to help you get up and running with your Facebook Pixel. Of course, install Tag Manager on your site if you haven't already. And of course, all of the Google Ads remarketing and conversion tracking. So hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dive marketing videos just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.